Hey, welcome to Kiki Fawcett's. I'm Amy Dale. And I'm Christine Lucas-Savage. And this is episode 22. And we're going to be talking today about our favorite apps and things like that on our smartphones. But I hope you have a smartphone, otherwise this show's not going to do you much good. This show might make them want to buy a smartphone. Yeah, that's true. It might, I don't know. It might make you all <laughs> excited about getting one. Um, okay, so first thing though, I said the date for World's End in one of our last shows was in June sometime, which I got all excited about. because I think it's in like, July. It's in August. I was looking at the UK release date. Oh. <laughs> it's really sad for me, because then when I realized when it was coming out in the US, it's August 23rd. I was like... That's so far away. Oh my gosh, that's so far away. It is. It's like when my kids are back in like starting school again. <laughs> but maybe you can leave. That'll them. be something to look forward to. Yeah. In the, the middle, in the midst year. of all the mess, you can be like, I'm gonna yes. go escape for a little while. Yeah. That would be good. Yeah. It'll be really, really, really good. good. But I homeschool, so I will need an escape for sure. <laughs> Everybody else is like, Yay, my kids are back in school, and I'm like, Oh god, now I have to work. <laughs> Okay, and there's another film that's coming out, which we haven't talked about, that I am uh, more than a little excited about, which is The Heat. I've never even heard of that. Oh, my word. It's Sandra Bullock and Melissa McCarthy, who I think is, like, one of the funniest humans. She's pretty hilarious. Ever. I liked her in Bridesmaids. I think she was the funniest one in that movie. Oh, my word. She's, she has, like, the direct line to my funny bone. She is so funny Did you to ever me. see Identity Thief? No, I haven't seen I that. I want yet. to see that one. Yeah. Because she's I in that with, um, what's Jason his face? Bateman, Jason Bateman, who whom I really like. Very funny. And I hear it's horrible. actually very funny, so. Yeah, I need to watch that movie one. Movie night. Yeah, but this one comes out June 28th, and I've had several people request that they go see it with me, because I don't know if you've noticed or picked up from watching the show, but I have a rather large laugh. Like, that's an understatement. I have a huge, ginormous laugh. I mean, I probably tone it down for the show. Like, people <laughs> move from their seats in the I've theater. I've seen that happen. From like away from me because they don't they're annoyed by my laugh. Sorry, but my, but everybody who's her friend likes it. So yeah, it's okay. all my friends like it. It's fine, and I have embraced it. But yeah, I definitely have a huge laugh. So all my friends and <laughs> the also really special thing about me is I tend to laugh at the either really inappropriate parts <laughs> that I should not be laughing at, like, oh, um, or the parts that like nobody else thinks are funny. Like they apparently made that part just for me. Do you know me. what I laugh at? So funny. Do you know what I laugh at? What? Fart I, jokes. Yes! Gratuitous yeah. farting. If there's farting, yes. you better believe I'm laughing mm -hmm. my butt off. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. That was yeah. awesome. Way to go, me. <laughs> yeah, way to go. Yeah, I've never heard of that movie before. Oh, you have to watch the preview. You have I'll to look have it to up because that. it's like a buddy cop film. Oh, dear God. Uh huh. And like Sandra Bullock is like all uptight and like super by the rules. This is what it looks like from the preview. And then Melissa McCarthy's like the hardcore. <laughs> like, <laughs> like the really mall cop security cop like, takes their job too seriously. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a scene like in the bathroom where. Um, Are they farting? No, but like <laughs> uh, Sandra Bullock's wearing Spanx. Nice. And she's like, it just holds everything in. And Melissa McCarthy's like, what in? That's <laughs> just so <laughs> awesome. I was like, yeah, I need to see that. Um, okay, so the other thing, fact that I found this, this week that I thought was interesting is that there's at least 100 babies right now in the U.S. named Khaleesi. That's just blatant. Like, I don't know what I think about it. I, I just thought it was an interesting fact. And I was kind of like... Well, you know, like when I was pregnant with one of we had a hard time. We had three, we have three girls and one boy. And I felt like I just had boy names coming out of my ears. Like I was like, I'm ready for like 20 boys. I had the boys. exact opposite problem. I had no boys names I liked. Well, I did that really well for you. I know, I have, three, you have girls, three girls. But, but I, worked. I had boy names out the wazoo, but then I had like no girl names. I had three girls. So by the time I got to number two, I mean like my first one's Anna Rose. And then the second one, I was like, oh. <laughs> so John's coming up with all these weird names. Like, you wouldn't expect him to be the weird name guy because he's kind of straight-laced. But he was like, Arrow? We should name what? her Arrow. I was like, as in bow and Arrow? And he's like, yeah. I was like, I'm not. Well, I did not expect that out of you. I know. I know. I was I'm like, kind of shocked right now. I was expecting, let's name her Elizabeth. Uh, oh, that's no. easy. And then, um. I suggested Tabitha, and he said that was a cat name, and I was like, okay. I kind of agree with that. Maybe Tabby, that's, Tabby Cat? That's British. Oh, I agree. Okay, okay. And, then, and then he came up with like, oh, he didn't want Arwen or Eowyn. He wanted to combine them, and it was like 
Arwen or something. And I was oh, like, Lord. No, Can that's you make like, it any harder for people to pronounce? Yeah, anyway, so we ended up with Shay, but we spell it wrong, so we are. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, right after you have a baby, they're like, okay, so what's her name? This You're is like, what happened I don't to know. Me. Leave me alone. Or how do you want to spell it? I don't know how to spell anything right now. <laughs> I just had a baby. I just pushed a polling ball out myself. Yeah. So. yeah, so that was a bad time to ask you how to spell. And I had, I mean, like, yeah. I decided while I was in labor what we were going to name her because we were like, oh, I'm gonna, about to have this baby. It might be a girl, so we should have a girl name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was awesome. We were so prepared, um, and then so I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Khaleesi. I'm like, oh, you didn't get to the point. Shay's middle name is Cosette. Yeah, I think that's what the point was. So you told the whole story and didn't get to like she's Cosette, which is from. Was that what you were trying? It's from Les Mis. Yeah, was that what you were going for? Yeah. So I named. I did a literary character for a name. So, you know, I understand that. You know, if I were to have a boy, his middle name would have been Edward. And can I just tell you, this is a family name. Because we all know how I feel about Twilight and how much I like it. Yeah. My grandpa's name is Edward. Okay. My dad's middle name is Edward. My brother's middle name is Edward. So I've always liked Edward. But it would have been a happy coincidence. It would have been a very happy coincidence You could be like, Team Edward. Just said, right? <laughs> and then when they're like, did you name me after this vampire mom? I'll be like, No. And in your head, you're like, but it's awesome. Right? <laughs> you're like, I'd be like, Mom, you're so lame. <laughs> but I didn't have a boy, so I never had to worry about that, which I'm kind of glad about. So, yeah, I'm good to go. So yeah, anyway. I kind of think, I'm really off topic today, but I kind of think it's easier, and I don't know, because I, you know, you have what you have, and you've never had the opposite, but I kind of feel like in some ways it's easier to have all girls or all boys. You know what I mean? Because, like, if you have the boys, they, like, want to fight and attack each other and they're all good with it they're all like yeah we're fighting and attacking each other this and is awesome okay. that's what and if you have the girls they're like oh let's color and play barbies let's do this fun stuff that's quiet and happy and you know i like that and then like if you have the calm the, the problem comes in when you have both because then it's like the fighting and attacking and the ah, he's fighting and attacking me and you know and, and dude i didn't have that problem i have three brothers and me i'm the exact opposite of your family i was number two out of four and it was all brothers, and dude, I could totally beat them up. Yeah. I, like, I prided myself on being able to beat them up. That's really good. Mm-hmm. I was awesome. You took control. I did. I have a control problem. I don't... Well, I have this, um... I have my... Yeah, I remember when my son was... He was probably two years old in his car seat. And Anna, my, who was probably five at the time, was screaming in the back seat. And I was just like, Anna, stop being overdramatic, because I thought she was just being harassed by her brother. You and know. she's a girl, so a girl. drama comes so with like, the territory. It. She's actually really not dramatic now. She was at the time. And I looked back and he had like a fistful of her hair. Oh <laughs> like pulled out of her head. And I was like, oh. You're like, I'm sorry. And that's when I realized, oh dear, yeah. this is a different ball game. Um, okay, so do you, have you read Outlander? Uh-huh. I thought you had. You, yeah, there's I like read it. seven books. Did you read? I only read the first two in you know completion, and then I kind of lost at the third one. I'm like, can we get? It was just kind of. It got slow after the first book, but I loved the first book so much. Okay, like a uh, so much love. Okay, because I have two other girls, well, Christy and Kathleen, who love this series. Yeah. Like, love it, and it takes place in Scotland, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Which I have a great love for Scotland. Um, but uh, Stars, apparently, like the channel Stars, is wanting to make a series out of this. And okay, so, you know, you read, um, oh my word, what I can't think of the name of it. What's the name of that book that is a TV show already? Game of Thrones. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so if you thought, I mean, Outlander has a few scenes in there that I'm not real sure I want to watch on TV. That is exactly what my friends said. When I because texted, when I told them that it was on, they were like, I hope it's PG-13 because there's some stuff I don't want to see. There is some stuff that's bad. Like, I actually felt a little dirty Reading after it. I read it. And well, I'm like, Ugh. hopefully they can, I mean, like, because honestly. It's going to be on Stars. I mean, think that about bad? that. Yeah, it's a cable know. channel. I don't know about Stars. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's, yeah. Is it like Skinamax? I don't think so, but it's a cable TV show, and I can't imagine that it's going to be... Well, maybe it'll be like we can fast forward past the bad parts, but... I don't know, because there's some... Mm. That's, what, that's what she said. That's what my other friends said to me. They were like, I hope it's PG-13, because there are some scenes I don't want to see. No, it's true. Yeah. Mm. Um, so, yeah. So, that'll be interesting to see if they do. I think what they are trying to capture is that Game of Thrones audience. 
mm-hmm. you know, because it's that same kind of series. And apparently, I haven't read it, but like there's sci-fi ish. Yeah, time hints. travel. Yeah, time travel and mm-hmm. all kinds of different things like it's that. It's very cool. It's very cool book. I read it on so a. So if you're looking ship, for a new yeah. book, there's seven of them, and it's written by. And they're all about Diana. This- Thick. Gabaldon, I think. Gabaldon. It's all they're all about like this thick. I mean, and it's called Outlander. Yeah. And apparently very good. it's really good. I haven't read it, but I've heard yeah, from like three it. of my closest friends that it's really, really good. Okay, the other thing I was gonna tell you guys is so we have this um my family has kind of a love affair with Merlin. We love that show so much. And <laughs> so well, except for my littlest one, because it scares her still because she's too little. But um we went through the whole series, like all four seasons, and now the fifth season is like out, but it's not out like on Netflix where oh. we can watch it. So it's really frustrating. Oh, I keep checking Netflix all the time and I'm like, no, no season five yet. Dang it. So um, actually when we went to England, we went to England Thanksgiving time and we were watching BBC and there was an episode of Merlin and it was from the fifth season and there was like all this stuff that had happened that we hadn't hey, seen. Like, oh my gosh, and I was like, good. wait, why is she doing that? Is she evil now? And so, yeah, so now we really want to watch the fifth season, but it's not out yet. So one of my friends, actually, Laura Werner, who was on our Star Wars show, um, I talked to her the other day, and she was like, Amy, have you guys watched Avatar, The Last Airbender? Not the movie, the cartoon. And I was like, no, I've heard a lot about it, but I've never actually watched it. Mm-hmm. She's like, so our whole family's watching it right now, and it's awesome. And it's so addictive. And we're like, really? And I was like, okay. So the kids and I started watching it. It's on Amazon Prime is where we find it. It's not on Netflix or anything. It's, like, it's kind of an anime-ish. It's definitely it? an anime. Yeah. And um, it's totally good. Really? We are you like know what cartoon I just discovered? Really into it. My aunt told me about it. It's called Shaun the Sheep. Oh, it's a yes. kid's show. I had lost never... The Aardman Studios. Yeah. I had never seen it before. Mm-hmm. This is totally not sci-fi by any stretch of the imagination. No. It's I love the it. Wallace and Gromit guys yeah. also made Sean. It's for like a, it's like a kid show, but it's totally for adults. It's awesome. It is. But anyway, so funny. All their nearly, stuff is that way. Oh my it's, gosh, we should do a whole show yeah. on them because it's hilarious. Um, okay, I went and saw Man of Steel and loved it with all my heart. I thought it was so well done, and you know, as I've said before on the show, I have not been a Superman fan. How was he without the um, red underpants? Way better. Really? Everything, yeah, I mean, well, <laughs> you sound surprised. I kind of am, because I saw a picture of him. He looks kind of naked. Oh, I, like, I was looking at a picture of him, and I'm like, I feel like I can see a lot of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like the Amazing Spider-Man. His suit, you're like, wow, you're, you're like, so, hello, yeah. Cirque du Soleil. Takes buddy. a man to wear that suit. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Mm. So, okay, I thought... It was super well done, and and it's interesting. I was actually talking with one of my friends. I was like, it's interesting because Marvel movies are tend to be really funny, mm-hmm. like you know Iron Man, which um, I like. Sarcasm and funny is good, right? Even Thor had quite a bit of humor mm-hmm. in it, and Avengers and all that. Um, but the DC comics movies tend to be more serious, like Batman, mm-hmm. and this one was the same way. It wasn't comedic, like you know, it wasn't the comedic. But superhero. I like it. I I was actually really interested. I would be really interested to see it. I think I you do will need to see it. I mean, I need I to see, see it. I, I think you will. Like I've been it. gone for two weeks, so I've been in camping. I've been land. camping and got to see a bunch of national parks, and nature, things. nature, and stuff. nature, lots of nature. Yeah. Yes, you saw the Grand Canyon. Yeah, saw were you the afraid? Grand Canyon. Did you think your kids were gonna fall? Into kind the of. Abyss? Yeah. I'm like, stay on the path. I know. <laughs> stay on the path. I know because I've heard there's no rails, and one of my friends was like, I had my kid on a leash because I was like. Thankfully, my kids are pretty good listeners, and they don't wander too much, and, you know, they, they know the wrath of mommy. Yeah, that's a but good But it was thing. lovely. I've seen it before. Okay, so, but anyway, Man of Steel, I loved. Okay, I'll have to There see are it. some comic purists who have some issues with some stuff that happens. I've seen that, too. Yeah. I don't want to say on here, because it will give spoilers, but um, I personally did not have issue. However, I have not been a hardcore Superman comic fan Mm -hmm. you know what I mean I'm not like one of the purists because I but what I think that those people need to maybe realize is that this movie might actually give an opportunity for him to be have new life because I am a fan now (laughs) and I was not before I'm not yeah I I was not at all I was like Superman um but I really enjoyed this film and I really and I'm really hopeful that the Justice League is going to happen that's my hope because it's my well I have a date night coming up I'm sure so Okay, and also World War Z, I have not seen yet. I don't think I want to see that one. Well, here's what happened. I got my Entertainment Weekly magazine, and, you know, they're not exactly, like, um, 
generous on their movie reviews. They're mm-hmm. usually pretty, you know, pretty hard pretty on them. Pretty hard on them. What they say about it. They gave World War Z an A minus. I've never seen an A minus in that And magazine. what they said mm-hmm. was, it's not. There was a quote in there that was like, it's not a CGI something something in your face fest and I was like well that's exactly what the trailer made that's it look exactly like. what it looks like yeah. yeah and so I was like well maybe it's maybe the trailer is just a bad trailer so I'm gonna give it a chance I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go see that it's at our little baby theater up here in the mountains which I might go see it this week but I'm not sure I read the book and I like the book I just don't know how they're gonna put it on film and make it yeah I don't know. Very It'll be to see whatever. It. Anyway. I, I want to give it a. I want to give it a go. I don't. I don't know. I haven't. Hold, I don't have, hold out a huge amount of hope. But that kind of made me more interested than I was before. I think I was probably gonna just skip it. But when I saw that review, I was like, a minus. A minus. Yeah, I'm still. So anyway, also there's a new video game which I really want to play, which looks kind of awesome, called The Last of Us. But I don't have a PS3. <laughs> what it is on. Well, that kind of sucks. So I can't play it. Plus, I'm really cheap, and I hate it when new games come out because they're like $60. I don't even and like video games that much. I so. can't do it. Anyway, but it looks awesome. It's like a sort of post-apocalyptic where there's a virus that makes people um, not really zombies, but like aggressive, almost like I Am Legend. You remember in mm-hmm. I Am Legend where they weren't just like zombies, but they were like, they're <sighs> grody. Yeah. yeah. Kind of and scary. I had a problem with the end of that book. I'm just saying. Book? I hated the end. Did you of read the book? It. I did. Oh, I'm, the end made me very angry. But anyway, I'll leave it at that. Was the movie the same as the ending? Um, I don't even remember the movie all that well. I don't think it was. Okay. No, no. Was it? I don't remember. All I know is I was very mad at the end of the book. I'm like, this is not. I was. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I I kind of actually like that movie. A little. bit. I have issues. But it was very lonely. Those... It was a very lonely movie. It was. It was like well, I mean, that was dog. Well, that was the like point, though. Away. That yeah. was the point of the whole thing. Yeah. But I st- mm. anyway, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. Oh, uh, by the way, something else I want to do, which I have not discussed before we go on, is a zombie run. Like a zombie There's race. one happening in this Denver. Weekend. Oh, is it this weekend? This weekend. Oh, you should go it's do it. It's Saturday, I know, but it's, uh, again, we go back to my cheapness. It's $100. Don't forget that. Because I'm you like, pay $100. don't get, if you don't, like, register early. And I was like, uh, well, you can do it next year. Yeah, and all the dates, the, the other one that they're doing, they're doing another one here, and it's, you know, like, on a date when I'm out of town. So Of I'm course. Like, well, okay, apps. Yay! Okay, so I remember <laughs> back in the day when I, I like apps a lot, when I had, um, my husband's always pushing me, to, like, further into technology. I know, mine is too. Here, honey, try this. It'll automate this. Try I know, it. like and I am one, so two. resistant. Like, I still make my list of what I need to do on paper. I have a grocery list like, sitting in my purse right now. Yes, and he's like, use Evernote. Use that. And I'm like, no, no. So, he's always been trying to get me into technology. I know. Yeah, my husband made and me so download I remember I too. had, like, this little, it's actually the same phone that Rose has, like, in the first <laughs> series. It's, it was exactly the same phone. I saw it on Doctor Who, and I was like, oh, I had that phone, and I loved that phone. And it's, like, makes phone calls. That's all it did. Yeah, that's, it I texted like with the, like, you know, T9 text where you're like, neat, 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 neat. Oh, I hated that. As soon as I learned to text, I'm like, I need one with a full keyboard. This is ridiculous. Because it took me 10 minutes to type in, hello. I know. And so, um, I, so, but then finally he got me into an iPhone, and I was just like, no. Oh, I love I was resistant. Mine. I was not a nice gift receiver, because he's like, here, I bought you an iPhone. And I was like, <laughs> Because I would have been like, thank you so much. Know, because he had a Crackberry, and I could not figure out how to even make a freaking phone call on the thing. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. it's so complicated. But the iPhone actually is super so easy, easy to and use. so easy and nice, and I like and it. so I didn't have trouble with that. But, okay, so here's some of the apps that I have grown to love. Um, we'll just take turns. I'll, I love Plants vs. Zombies. My child, seriously, every 50 seconds, 5 seconds, she's playing my phone. Mom, we need to download Plants vs. Zombies. It's because of you. Yes. Because of you. You're I'm, like, I'm not downloading this stupid thing. It's awesome. Whatever, I'm not And if you got it. it, you would be like totally into it. And you Does would it have cost to- money? I don't think very much. It's probably like a couple Because I bucks. tend not to spend any money on apps. I'm the same way. I have this weird thing. Like, I'll go into a store and buy something that's $4, but then but I, I see an app that's three ninety nine, and I'm like, I'm like oh, oh, God. Gosh, yeah. that's expensive. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm super cheap on apps. But Plants vs. Zombies was like a few dollars, and I had heard the rating. It was like the most popular app downloaded. Ever? And so I was like... And, and it sounds lame. Plants vs. Zombies, really? You're like, that sounds Well, I really saw dumb. somebody playing at one point, and I'm just like, this... It's not that cool. I don't know. Whatever. I, and then you like go through the levels, yeah. and it's and then like you get different harder zombies, like zombies that can go faster, and zombies that can jump over stuff, and 
And then, I'm not yeah. intrigued at all. It's fun. You know which one I just discovered? Tell me. Candy Crush. Because I had been, I had been seeing stuff showing popping Sounds up on like Facebook. From Wreck It Ralph. It's not okay. But anyway, I started seeing stuff on Facebook. I'm like, what is this? I'm not playing this Candy Crush game. Everybody plays this Candy Crush. Game. I'm not playing it. So I decided I downloaded it because I'm like, well, whatever, why not? And I didn't play it for the longest time. And then you know, I just was on a 50 bajillion hour road trip. I'm like, I'll just try it and see. Holy crap. I love this game, but I got to the um, you know the end of the free part, and now I have to pay ninety nine cents if I want more. And I'm like, oh, kind of. I mean, like you can a dollar. I'm not doing that. That's I'm not ridiculous. doing that. I want a candy bar. <laughs> um. Anyway, so what is the what's the premise? Like, what are you doing? You have to. They have each level has a different thing. So in one of them, you have to clear all the jelly. Um, and it, it's like um, Bejeweled, where you have to line up three things, okay. and then it destroys it, and then you have special candies okay. that come up, and. It's just, it's like a puzzle, and it's harder than just Bejeweled because you actually have to have some kind of a strategy sometimes. Strategy. A little I'm bit of strategy. strategy. It's very, it's very fun. It's, yeah. And I made it to the end, and I'm like, thank God, because now I can put <clears> this <throat> stupid thing down. Because seriously, we'd go in the tent at night, and I'm like, playing this stupid game, and I'm like, I just need to go to bed. Yeah. But it's really Well, fun. you get that way, though. You get, like, where you have to defeat a game. I do, and I did. Yeah, because you did that with that other one. Was it Bejeweled? Treasures of Montezuma. Treasures of Montezuma. We're getting to that one. Don't oh, yeah, worry. Sorry. That's my, anyway. We'll later. Okay, so that's a good one if you haven't tr if you haven't tried that one. That one's very very good. And apparently there's a free version. The, it's free until you like it gives you it gives you like this long thing and you get you're like yeah I'm 35 things into it 35 little levels into it and then it's over and I'm like oh. yeah and then you might, I'm not I'm not bitter at all. I'll give you a dollar if you want. You know, Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> you can go ahead and buy it. Okay, so Instagram is another one I use a lot. I love this app a lot, and now it has video. It has, you can do 15 second videos, which is interesting because the other thing I was going to talk about was Vine. And that's only six seconds. Vine is six second looping videos, which you can do some cool stuff with it since it loops. Um, and Have you tried a um, video on Instagram? I have not yet. done video on Instagram. I've seen other people's Are videos. They good? Yeah, they're yeah. fine, but they don't loop. And you can also put filters on it. Which is kind of mm, cool, just like you can cool. on the yeah, photos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's really, it's. I like Instagram a lot. I'm a big fan of Instagram. Um, and Vine. Vine is fun because there's like funny, famous people that you can. Find oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We found a few that are really, really good. Yeah. Okay, so my very favorite app of all time, forever and ever, is um, Treasures of Montezuma. Because here's the thing, I wanted to play Bejeweled really bad because I really like playing it, but it always, it costs money every, I'm like, I'm not going to pay for this stupid game, like, that's lame, so I found this free one called Treasures of Montezuma, and it's wonderful, like, it blows stuff up, so it's just like Bejeweled, where you have to line up the three things, and then it explodes, well, the whole idea is you have these little crystal things, and you have to get as many as, you know, all the crystal things, and you're certain a lot amount of time, and, you know, as each level gets up, you get stars that you get to buy, like, special things that help it explode even more, and here's the best part, and when you get a uh, score frenzy, I think it's called, it goes, oh, and it just makes me so happy. <laughs> I actually was sitting in the parking lot once, and I plugged it into my car so I could have a surround stereo. Sound, and it was, oh. like, seriously, things blow up, and it's so, like, you can just clear the board. It'll be like, <laughs> score frenzy. Oh. It's just. Oh, my word, yeah. It makes me so happy, and I beat the whole thing. I've never beaten a game before in my whole entire life, and I beat that game, and it was. Oh, oh no, I actually paid money for this one. Oh. Because I loved, I know, it was 99 cents, and I'm like, no, I'm paying, I, I have to, I, I, mm, I have to do it. And it was worth it, because now I still go back and play it, and it makes me very happy. I love that game so much. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I, my favorite, favorite app, I think of all time, is one that I got very recently. So we'll see if it stands the test of time. But it's called Zombies Run. We heard about this at Denver Comic Con. There was people dressed up in cosplay as this app. It was yeah, actually we were in line cool. behind them, and I was like, "What are you guys dressed up as?" Because they were they look like like in a tracksuit sort of thing, and it said Runner Five on the back, and they had like a headset on, and there was guy had one that had Zombie written on the back. Yeah, and so we were like, "What are you guys dressed up from?" And they were like, "Well, we're from this game called Zombies Run." And they explained it, but I didn't really get it when they explained it. So, but I was talking to my husband about like I need to get in shape and get rid of my muffin top and all that stuff. And yeah. Anyway, so then I so then I mentioned that game, and he's like, "Well, you should try that." And it's four dollars. So I was like, mm. and then I Nine thought to myself, is big, but four dollars." And then I thought to myself, I have a gym membership that costs me what, however much a month. And I'm willing to pay that and not go to the gym. <laughs> so why can't I pay freaking $4 for this app and give it a try 
and see? Because it's only $4. Right. Yes. And it's actually really only $4. I know it's an app, but it's only $4. So then um, I tried it, and it's rocked my world. It's freaking amazing. <laughs> I love it so much because it's like... It's like an art. It's like everything us geeks like about games. Like it's an RPG, so you're involved in it and you're part of the story. And they need you to run and get supplies. And like it starts with a helicopter crash, and you're running to get to this township while these zombies are chasing, and you have to go to the hospital and get medical supplies for them. And it's so awesome. So you don't even have to show it to me because I'm like, do you just kind of run along the straight path? And you're like, okay, well I'm just gonna run this anyway. And oh look. Got my supplies. I'm still yeah. So run. it just what you do is you put in your playlist, so it has your music in there, and it'll play your music between the talking. And so they just you, you know they have like 5K training programs and stuff like that you can get, but I didn't get that. I just got the regular one. And so I'm on season one, and I'm like on episode 10 or something or 11. And so like you with each episode, they'll it has a different storyline. Oh, so it's like a whole. It's like a story. long continuing story with oh, the same okay, characters. I was gonna say, oh, and I got my. Supplies. No, and so then it tells you when you're running, it'll tell you picked up. And for some reason, I pick up packets of underwear a lot. I don't mm. know why I get that so much, but that does happen a lot. Well, you know but what? then, like, you pick up cell phones and you pick up medical supplies as you're what running you and it? stuff. Well, you, I mean, like, you just like get to you when you come home. There's a, like a game thing where you can build the town out bigger and stuff like that. Oh, okay, so that kind of makes it cool. But, so you're earning the stuff to make yeah. To okay, build well, stuff. that makes it. But much then more when you're sense. running, the only thing like it tells you as far as run faster or whatever is. When it says zombies approaching, you have to run faster, and if you don't run fast enough, they'll get you. And how you know they got you is they're like, they so got like can right they tell that you're, can they tell? Yeah, because it's GPS. Oh, you can cool. do it either GPS or okay, accelerometer. That, okay, that's cool. Because I was thinking, I'm like, okay, so the zombies are chasing you, but who cares? Because oh, you have to run just faster. Keep running. Okay, I didn't know that. And that's... if you and it's only like two or three. Well, it depends on the run. But sometimes, like one time, I ran and there were no zombie hordes. That's the only time that's happened, and I was I kept waiting for like the zombies to come. Well, that's kind of cool. I, I bet they do that on purpose yeah. to make you keep and you I was interested. Like, oh, there were no zombies this time, and then like. Last time I went on a run, there were two hordes, and I got gotten both tired because I was really tired, and it was like in the evening when I went for a run, and I was like, "Oh, the oh, zombies okay. are coming!" And I was trying to run faster, but I was like, "I can't, I can't run anymore. <laughs> Just eat me. I don't care." Well, you look so, great. Your zombie complexion, you know, because once you get yeah. bitten by a zombie, you know, yeah, you become one. I know. So I'm doing pretty good so far. But anyway, it is so fun. So if you run, I the thing with me with running, I do run, but I get super bored. Oh, I do too. And so this I is listen, I love listening to audiobooks when I run. I do too, but then I don't run very fast. I'm oh, just that's like, true. Mm, mm, mm. You want to know so. what app I use when I exercise? These are my next two favorite apps. Okay. This is going to be super shocking. One's called Vicky. The other one's called Drama Fever. Guess what I watch? Korean dramas. Korean dramas. Is Vicky something that you watch Korean dramas on? Totally. Okay. So you download um, you know, the app and you can search for your favorite dramas. And I'm like on the elliptical machine doing my thing and I just stick my little iPhone right there and I watch a drama while I'm elliptical or running on the treadmill or like riding a bike. Oh my word, it makes working out so much fun. And Christine is going to Korea, right? Yeah, in like, oh, like 10 days or something like that. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, I was talking to one of my friends. They're like, she's going to need it. I, we're talking about that you're going to need to like take a paper bag with you to hyperventilate in all the time. Cause you're well, that's only if I it. see somebody. Somebody famous? Yeah. Yeah, well. It could happen. It could. But it, although it's kind of embarrassing to watch these dramas though while I'm working out because they're funny sometimes and I'll just sit in this and I'm like Tee! and I'm like trying to like not laugh really hard because it's kind of like annoying and distracting to people but I like can't even help it like I was watching this annoying. one I was watching this one and I seriously like my body was shaking because I was trying not to just like <laughs> burst out dying laughing but that's yeah. pretty great but, yeah, I'm sure those it's very are, entertaining to the people behind you I just don't even care. I'm, I just, what I want to know is because, you know, I watch subtitles because I can't understand it. And so I wonder what people, if people are seeing, like trying to see what I'm watching and they see like all these, all I watch is Asian stuff. So they see all these Asian people with subtitles. I often wonder what people are thinking. Like, why is she watching some? She doesn't look Asian, but maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, I like uh, that. Okay, so another one that really helps me is voice memo, which I think actually just comes on your iPhone. Mm -hmm. and it's not one you have to get. Mm -mm. But as a songwriter, it has like been the massive lifesaver for me because, or as a writer just in general, because you get an idea and I'm not good about, and so, you know, sometimes you're driving or whatever, so you can just click voice memo and sing into the phone what you have That's because cool. it'll immediately vanish from your head, you know, if you, well, for mine, maybe not. Oh, no, it'll happen to me. It's like but waking up in the middle like, of the night and you have a great idea and if you don't write it down, you're going to be like, 
crap. Yes. And so like I have this idea for a song and I'm like, oh, that's a great idea. So I just hit voice memo and I record it while I'm driving or doing whatever. And then I can always go back later and figure it out. But at least I have the tune and it, yeah. I remember it. Same thing with like book ideas. And I have never once used the voice memo. It's, well, for me, it's like <laughs> one of my favorite apps. I was just looking at it and I was like, I use that one a ton. And then Marvel and DC apps Oopsie. are like really great. And Flickster is a great one for movies because it tells the Rotten Tomato scores on movies. Oh, I love Rotten Tomato. Which is I kind of that helps that a lot. Yeah, yeah. It is. So Flickster. Generally, if the um, critics like it, I'll hate it. So yeah, <laughs> that's usually. Or if they hate it, it's like, well, I might like it. Yeah. Um, did it, wait wait did I say that? That's what I meant to say. Yeah. The critics hate it. You said if the like, critics like it. You'll okay, hate that's it. not what I meant. I meant the opposite. Okay, See, yeah. I don't even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the games that I actually play on my iPhone are really nerdy, like Cash Cow, which is where you have to put like. You have to make a dollar with this change as fast as you can to, like... Okay, that's so cool! It's really, really fun and addictive, but... Have you ever played the toilet paper one where you have to roll unroll the roll of toilet paper as fast as you can? No. Oh my gosh. That sounds awesome. I think it's called roll paper, and you sit there as fast as you can, and we have all these strategies so you can do it fast. I mean, it's only fun the first few times, but right. me and Justin, my husband, sat there and, like, competed with each other who can unroll the toilet paper. <laughs> Cash Cow is fun. It's one that I always go back to and play. And Bookworm is the other one I like, which is like Boggle. It's like you're trying... Yeah, I play that. Yeah. I think I play that on my Kindle. Welcome to Bookworm. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> That's what he says every time, so... So, yeah. What's this Anything one? else? Ragdoll Blast. Oh, uh, Ragdoll Blast is like a... Um, it's like a... It's like you have this cannon that shoots this ragdoll out, and you're trying to hit a target, but they have all these different... Um, different things that like sometimes they'll have like you shoot onto this gear that turns it around and like it's it's like physics so it's, is it like, almost okay i had a cat one like that at one point but it's I, really fun but some of the levels are so hard oh, like i, I that can't get past did them, you know do you play angry birds no did you know they have a star wars version i did okay i, just I didn't suck at angry birds i tried to play it once i could not even get past level one i was like something is wrong with me kind of because that's every busy <laughs> i know everybody plays it and they're like this is so fun and i'm like i must like, this is not fun no, for me. I have a problem. That's so, all right. So, I'm sorry. I'm Angry Birds. Not, yeah, I'm bad at Angry Birds. So, let us know if you get hooked on any of these and how much time you've wasted with your whole life because I've wasted a lot of time on these. And what and are your seriously, favorites? We want to know, know what your, favorites, what your are. favorites are because, you know, we need more of a time suck <laughs> in our lives, totally. And I recommend, seriously, plug, if you play Treasures of Montezuma, plug it surround sound. Yeah, you, you will go. not, you, no, you won't regret it. I <laughs> promise. It's the greatest thing you'll do with your life today. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, we hope you have a great week, and we'll see you next week.